everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are painting this really cute hedgehog today. Um, so I'm going to be starting with brown and yellow watercolor. Um, so I'm just going to quickly pick some brown up. I'm combining a little bit of black with my brown because my brown is very, very light. And we're going to start with the nose of our hedgehog. So it's kind of like a, a triangle almost. And we're just going to extend that brown outwards. Now I'm going to try and work a little bit quickly here because I am using my sketchbook, which is not cotton paper, so the paper dries much quicker. And so I don't want there to be these very harsh lines. And we're going to fade this brown into more of a pale color. So you can either pick up like a nude, some sort of neutral, maybe even a little bit of yellow and just add that to your brown. And you can fade it out quite a bit as much as you'd like. And then you can gradient that out into just white. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. Um, but before we do, I'm just going to take my liner brush, or just a very thin detail brush, and I'm going to quickly paint on the little nose. And you can either paint it directly on, or what I'm going to do is dip the end of my paintbrush, so this end, into some watered down black. and just stamp it on. Mind you, that was not, um, there wasn't enough pigment on there, but if you had a bigger end, uh, you could definitely do that. So I'm just gonna touch it up with a paintbrush. This little cute button nose. And you can let that black bleed into your watercolor, into the, um, snout portion in fact I'm going to add a little bit of brown there just like that perfect Now I'm going to take that brown again and I'm going to pick up some black and mix it in and I'm going to paint on the ear. So I'm hoping that this background is dry, otherwise it's going to bleed. And we're just going to paint on this cute little triangular, rounded triangle for an ear. Like this.
and you just want to fade that ear out so that it's a really fluent gradient. So the end of the ear is obviously going to be darker and then it fades out into white. I'm also going to paint the eye uh, black. Just like that. And I'm going to paint the little arms of our hedgehog as well. And these are going to be Actually, I'm going to wait wait with the arms and the legs just in case we do one more layer because I'm pretty indecisive sometimes. So instead of we're going to create the little quills on the back of our hedgehog. And the way that you can start doing this is basic, basically painting these uh, V shapes that aren't quite connected or in some places they can be connected and they don't have to be like perfect, perfect, but um, you're basically just going like that. So, and they don't always have to be these, like you can paint on just, you know, a line like that, whatever is easiest for you. And you just keep painting this on in layers so I'm on my second or third row right now and you can vary whether you use light brown dark brown a little bit of black mixed in just to make it um, I wouldn't say colorful but a little bit varied And basically where the body of the hedgehog starts to fade into white, that's where you can start, um, or that's where you line your the starts of your quills. And you just follow that all the way down the body. Okay, so once the quills of your hedgehog are complete, you can grab some pigmented brown watercolor and we'll be filling in um, the little arms and the legs of our little hedgehog. So one of the arms is just uh, the one that's on the right side of the body, on the hedgehog's right side of the body. It's just going to be behind the body so just make sure that you that there's like a nice straight line from the body and then the other one is just going to be exposed just like that and we can't forget about the little legs There we go. So I painted this one a little bit too curved, but you get the picture. You can fix it a little bit probably just like that. There we go. And there we have it, our cute little hedgehog. I hope you guys enjoyed this watercolor tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.